The question is whether CO2, that's carbon dioxide, is ionic or covalent. Covalent is also called molecular. So as we look at the periodic table here, sorted by metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, we find carbon and then we find oxygen. And carbon and oxygen, they're both nonmetals. So when we have two nonmetals, we have a covalent compound. So carbon dioxide, it's a covalent compound. But let's look at the Lewis structure to see what that means. So here's our Lewis structure for carbon dioxide. You see these bonds here. These are covalent bonds. When you see the line, that's a covalent bond. This is a double bond. So carbon is sharing electrons, the carbon and the oxygen. We have these electrons shared between these atoms. That forms the covalent bond, completes the octets on the carbon and the oxygen. So this is a stable molecule. You could also draw it like this here to show the double bonds and how they're shared. The electrons are shared between the carbon and the oxygen. One thing to note is that the difference in electronegativity between carbon and oxygen, that makes this a polar covalent bond. But since we have one here and here, they're on opposite sides. This is symmetrical. They cancel out. Carbon dioxide is a nonpolar covalent compound. This is Dr. B answering the question whether carbon dioxide is ionic or covalent. It is covalent, also called molecular, and it's nonpolar covalent because these dipoles here, they cancel out. Thanks for watching.